Hello, Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly, and I have the answer that you have been waiting for. Hello, Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly, and yes, we are all enduring our quarantine. You can see by my hair, it's just getting longer and longer and longer and longer, but no need to fear, my fearless over 50s. Do not fret because we are all surviving quarantine and I hope all of you are surviving quarantine very well. But today, I have the answer to what happened to me a couple of weeks ago and two people got it right. Yes, it was the mechanical fuel pump. The mechanical fuel pump failed because as the engine started to increase in RPMs, as we added more throttle, the fuel pressure went less and less and less and less. And then when we lowered the throttle, the fuel pressure came back. So when we got in there and we finally figured out what the problem was, we ordered a new fuel pump and we decided to check some other things out. And thank goodness this thing failed because this is what we found with the carburetor. Well, that could have been really bad. Yep. You know, here's a lot of weight. You have one hose, another hose, and another hose in here. And this is inertia, you know, so by vibration or with the vibration or whatever is happening here, it's it's a lot of tension in here. So that's one of the reasons that can damage the, the, the threads in the carburetor, you know? And uh, yeah, so that's, that's the thing here. So, so can that be retooled? And um, well, he's going to see if he he's going to see if he can. Okay, uh, about about retool or make an LED coil. You know what's uh, an LED right. coil? coil? It's like an artificial thread that yeah. you can make here, but you have to enlarge the hole and make a a, a bigger thread and then put the LED coil. So the 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 size of the material here. It's not too much. Right. There's not much. That. There's not much left in it. Yeah. Correct. And when you put the LED coil, if you can do it, and you put this in here, and with all the tension here, and the with vibration. the hoses and vibration, you're gonna broke here, and it's gonna be worse. Yeah. You know. So. Well. I went ahead and yes, I absolutely ordered a new carburetor. I didn't want the old one retooled. I didn't want to go and rethread that hole or anything. It's not worth saving even a thousand dollars when your safety and your life depends on it. So I went ahead, I bought a new carburetor. It actually wasn't that expensive. It was around $1,200 and it's been installed. And then we went ahead and looked at all the fittings, all the lines, changed the ones that were needed. And yeah, it's a 1968 airplane and it needs to be slowly brought up to speed like this. And sure, I could spend all my, <laughs> all my funds and all my resources and all my time doing that, but doing it in a slow, progressive manner um, when things call for it and in a realistic and a reasonable manner is always very helpful. So yes, I put a new carburetor on it and we've got a new mechanical fuel pump which would give me a tremendous, tremendous peace of mind. And we did give everything else a once over and a real close look and that really is all we found. So I know I've got a great engine. I've probably got about seven to 800 hours left in that engine which is quite a long time and it's well worth the money because this is a safe airplane. She's in great shape. And now we've all got the time. Take a look at your airplane and get the things addressed that you may need to get addressed now while we've got the time, while we're basically all grounded. So until next time, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you soon.